doing a seminar. <laughs> we got the seminar going on um, October 15th. Yeah. Now, I've got to ask you, it's 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, yeah. and this is a total change for Fred Snyder, because you did the last one on October, September the 3rd, yep. and we did that at the Holiday Inn on Broadway, and you had uh, Ross Allen there talking yeah. about life insurance. And yeah, well, I, we're going to try to get Ross out of this. And I thought I knew everything that. about life insurance, mm -hmm. and he uh, came up with a brand new deal on an old endowment policy, which I thought was really intriguing, and a uh, a reason for having one, because I was against endowments for years, mm -hmm. but he made a reason that suddenly an endowment had a had a place in life, yeah. and it's always when you can learn something, it's wonderful. Um, we had a lawyer phone on Sunday to CKNW, so. who uh, wanted to point out that we were talking about executor's fees. He wanted to point out that if you if I leave everything to my wife, or a wife leaves everything to her husband then the husband or the wife is the executor, that they're not going to charge a fee. It's not like it just gets taken. And he, that was a good point we were talking but is about. But is it a good point to have your wife managing your estate? Like, that becomes questionable. Well. You know, I, 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 I remember one afternoon I went out with another one of my representatives to um, give a presentation to this fellow, and we sat down. He had a lot of money. It's from Penticton. And I spent... Uh, an hour going through a presentation of what we do and at the end of that time he said look look at what I got I did all this myself I created all this well what do I need you for that was a good question it is and I'm question. sometimes pretty quick on the draw and I said well that's fine but if you passed away and your wife inherited all this money would she be able to do what you do with it and he looked at me and he was stunned yeah he never thought about that yeah okay and I'm saying the same thing here. It's the same issue, okay? But let's, got, let's not get the status of women after us because I there's know, lots I'm of not, women. I'm not saying that. Lots of case types. I, the question is, yep. what if? Is yep. the person that you name executor competent enough it could just to do as, the job, could just whether it be easy, male or female? can just as easily be yeah. the hubby that doesn't have I'm not have beating the, women up here yeah. at all, okay? okay? But uh, it's competence and motivation and, and their tolerance for risk yep. and all these things. Okay, you have to make sure you have a competent executor. Yep. And executor fees can be pretty expensive. Okay. Especially at the point of trust. Company. And is, is wouldn't it be better to be able to take that block of money and put it in a seg fund and just name a beneficiary, and it doesn't become part of the estate now? It just bypasses the estate and goes straight to the beneficiary. Now you don't have probate fees. You don't even have to worry about an executor at this particular mm -hmm. point. And if, well, maybe you do because the cash well, goes to the well, beneficiary. Okay. And maybe they squander it anyway. Well, they, okay. But they can go and hire somebody to be yeah, the, sure. uh, which could be you, which is what you're talking about. That's right. Exactly. Um, that can be part of the estate plan. That can be part of the yeah. estate plan. Well, that makes sense to me. The, uh, hear my cell phone going over. You're the one who always gets your cell phone ringing when we're on the air. I always leave it in the car. Pretty and, funny. And that. mine doesn't ring, David. It buzzes. It's very silent. Yes, I know. That's a nice loud <laughs> one over in the corner. Yeah. Anyway, making a short story long. So the seminar we're doing is going to have a lawyer speaking about estates and about executors, executors and fees and, and this type kind of, of thing. Yeah. Uh, we think that, we're that probably, you know something, I'm, I'm going to say to him, this is what I want you to do. I want you to just talk about the role of an executor. Yep. I'm going to focus right on that. Yep. Because a lot people don't understand that role. Yep. Okay? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And uh, Ross Allen might be talking about insurance again. Yeah. I'm going to talk about mortgage interest as a deduction and stuff. And well, you did a great the... job on that, you know. Well. Probably, I've heard you speak on that a dozen, a dozen probably. Likely about times. 50 times, yeah, yeah. 50 or 60. And uh, that was the best job I think you ever did on that topic. It well, was it was an appreciative audience. You mm -hmm. see, the audience gives you, as you know, if you can mm -hmm. work off the audience. And we had, those, we had six people put up their hands to say that they had been told by mortgage brokers and bank managers that it was illegal to make your mortgage interest deductible in Canada, remember? Yeah, so now, now we have a fight because I had the documentation, mm -hmm. the court cases, <coughs> the judge, and the name of the people with me. Four different people. And you and I are not going to stand up in front of an audience and tell them to do something illegal. We'd end up in jail. 
Well, that's true. And uh, I don't know, did you see that email I sent a little while ago with about over 100 uh, accountants and so on that have been put in jail for helping clients uh, evade tax and money and lawyers? And a big law firm in the States has just been, uh, the, all seven members of the law firm have been charged with tax fraud for selling funny tax shelters. You can't do that. You can't do that. Stiking and what's the name? Stiking, I can't remember the whole name. Stiking Griffiths or something. Um, so there's, you have to be careful what you're doing. You have sure. to be really careful who you deal with. And this has yeah. just proven out to be with Gary Sorensen and Roast in, uh, in Calgary, because all sorts of people. Well, you talked about Jerome Snyder. Well, Schneider was just a not, fool. No, no relation of Schneider, not Snyder. And Schneider. Jerome, Jerome <laughs> Schneider had premier... Uh, Premier Financial Services down in Georgia. I know, I'm, I'm, I know him actually. Yeah, well, I know him too. He was handing out a whole bunch of my stuff, and he had a whole bunch of my stuff. I actually faked him out because I <laughs> sent, I published a thing with a, a line, a, a scan line in it, and then found him handing out exactly the same thing. So it was mine. Anyway, Jerome uh, went to jail. He uh, was advising clients on tax shelters and hiding their money from the U.S. government in this case. And they, uh, in Vancouver, he's a Canadian and an American citizen, but a dual citizen. And Jerome decided to take a vacation down in California where he used to live. And when he got off the airplane at uh, San Francisco, Treasury went, hi, Jerome. I'm waiting for you. And uh, <coughs> they charged him with stuff that would have got him 99 years in jail times about 10. And he um, ended up uh, pleading guilty and accepting a six-month jail sentence, which he served every day of, a $100,000 fine, and, of course, was bankrupt at that point. And he uh, turned 1,072 clients over. And a lot of people whose names you would recognize because he had some movie stars and some big league be it people. And um, they all got fines from a minimum of 10000 to nobody got a fine bigger than his 100000 But 1,072 people were fined because of that. So it doesn't pay. Well, you've got to be careful. Bad advice, David. doesn't if, pay. If you're dealing with somebody who doesn't get all the information from you, if they don't ask about your will, they don't ask about your mortgage, if you deal with a mortgage broker that doesn't discuss how to make your mortgage deductible, if you deal with a financial person, it doesn't discuss how to make your mortgage deductible. Because will you agree with me on this? Most of the time, all, every time, every time, every, every, every single time, when I have somebody come in with a $300,000 mortgage and $300,000 in the bank or stock or securities or mutual funds or something, I'm not talking about an RSP, I'm just, they've got sure. 300000 and they've got a 300000 mortgage. Mm -hmm. They're all dealing with a financial man that hasn't told them how easy it is to make the mortgage deductible. That's right. Insane. See it all the time. All right. all the time. If you want to go to the seminar, you phone Frida, 731-8900 at Fred's office. Fred's office is down at the corner of 7th and Burrard in that same building where Spence's Diamond is in the Thai House restaurant. And uh, you can come to the seminar Thursday, October 15th, 3 o'clock to 6 p.m. in the Pink Palace. That's the Pacific Inn Resort out on King George Highway, 1160 King George Highway. Exit 2B from Highway 99. And... Uh, We'll see if our fellow Jeff from uh, Point Roberts phones in, who gave us a call and started off with the questions this morning, or this afternoon, this yeah, evening. I bet you will. Well, it'd be good to see him. Yeah. I bribed him with a flag, remember? Right on, Everybody yeah. wants one of these flags. Anything, any closing remarks? That's about it. Yeah, get, get your future going today and get yourself a financial plan. Yep, and uh, listen to Fred at 9 o'clock to 10.30 every Sunday morning on CIL Radio, which is 6.50 a.m., and 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock every Sunday on CKNW, which is 9.80 a.m.